What's going on everybody? Tyrell here. If you like crypto on this channel, I bring together the fundamentals and the technicals to carry valuable information to help you on your journey. A free way to support this channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And shout out to all the brand new subscribers. We're currently at 551 subs right now. So if you're new, welcome. And for all the previous subscribers, we are now surpassed this milestone and I will be transferring some NFTs to people. So make sure to drop your ERC721 addresses in the comments to uh, hopefully get a chance at one of my personally selected NFTs, which I will be going over later on in this video. So make sure to do that. All right, looking at the total crypto market cap, we're currently sitting at $1.3 trillion. Um, the entire crypto market cap has kind of just been sideways as of late. So um, this is kind of just where we're at right now. Nothing really too exciting regarding the price. Not a lot of money coming into the market. Not a lot of money leaving the market. Just sideways, flat, stagnant really. Looking at the altcoin market currently sitting at $704 billion. It just reflects the total crypto market cap. Bitcoin dominance currently sitting at 45.89%. Um, nothing too exciting. Um, Bitcoin as well, we're just below that level of 32,000, but we're still within this support zone of 30,000 and 32,000. So there's not a lot of buyers, there's not a lot of sellers. Really, whoever's in the market right now are just holders like me. So um, I may be scooping up a little bit more Bitcoin uh, over time, uh, just as like dollar cost averaging and um, holding for the long term because I'm in this for the long term. So that's uh, where I stand. Looking at Ethereum, currently sitting at $1,931, just below that uh, support resistance level of 2000, psychological level, uh, you can call it that. Um, now that I've kind of seen it now, you got this trend line here. I'm gonna go ahead and make that full and make that black. Make it a little bit skinnier. One pixel. So we have this low, high low, high low, high low, high low. Um, this isn't really too significant like price isn't going to like fully respect this line it's just like an observation of mine um as i've said multiple times and what will be shown in the thumbnail this is not financial advice this is just my opinion so um this is my observation just looking at the ethereum chart so let's see what this thing does in time um that's it for the charts nothing too exciting so i'm gonna go ahead and delete that for the time being uh for some news bipartisan u.s bill would define digital assets emerging technologies um it is bipartisan so you got people from both sides republicans and democrats uh, going to treat digital assets as commodities not securities so um this would not necessarily stifle innovation and um hopefully there's going to be some really cool developments out of this um now that um there's more clarity regarding what like um the laws are behind digital assets so this is something that's really good for the uh crypto space as soon as there's more regulatory clarity around crypto assets digital assets then um all these institutions are really going to know the rules that they need to abide by in order to not only develop things but put money towards so uh good development now the bulk of this video is going to be nfts so we're on coin market cap right now looking at the nft category um some things are down some things are up such as axie infinity uh this is actually really cool um there's uh, this game built upon Axie Infinity where um, people are literally um, supporting their livelihoods by playing this Pokemon styled game in like the Philippines. So it's interesting to see um, this thing up nearly 90% in the past seven days. So pretty cool. And there's also some other NFTs here like Decentraland that I did own and then I sold. Uh, and engine which I did own and then I sold as the rest of the crypto market 
was going down. But I may pick up some more NFTs, uh, sorry, NFT uh, tokens like Decentraland or Engine, or I may just end up buying some NFTs because like I would like to think of myself as an art collector. Uh, anybody can do it, it's pretty cool, and I'll actually show you how to do that. So um, if you wanted to check this out, go to CoinMarketCap, go to that tab right there. Now this thing is really cool, well this article. Uh, Masterpiece is Swiss Bank issuing NFT shares in Picasso painting for $6,000 each. Swiss Digital Asset Bank Signum is issuing NFTs representing fractionalized ownership in a Picasso painting. So say you have like a painting, right? And then you can like divide it up like a hundred times and issue NFTs for those a hundred fractions. Um, and then that would signify or represent digital ownership of a physical painting. So that's an application of NFTs where uh, say like a Picasso is like a million dollars. Um, you can essentially crowdsource ownership of that physical piece of art and there is also like another uh i would say like um spectacle where a banksy was minted as an nft and then the physical art was uh burned so it only exists digitally so um in due time um you could potentially see uh more instances of this where physical art um is broken up into fractionalized ownership where people can like own a piece of Picasso like imagine if people can own a piece of the Mona Lisa or a Salvador Dali or some other famous artist that I don't know oh what about like Michelangelo right so um imagine um anybody potentially owning one of those like famous pieces of art through um, digital ownership of NFTs. So this is a really cool application. And just reading this article, you have uh, fractionalized ownership of physical pieces of art. So um, that's an application. Uh, you have trades being settled in Swiss francs using Signum's native CHF stable coins. So you have stable coins already in Switzerland. So they may honestly be like the first movers in Europe in um, actually legalizing or creating regulatory clarity around digital assets because look at what they're doing with NFTs. So pretty cool things happening on that front. So I'll leave a link to this article in the video description and let's get into some of the nft platforms so i've used rarible a lot and honestly you are not a dgen until you actually go onto the dark theme uh so you can look at like the top sellers some of the auctions that are going on some hot bids some really cool collections uh twitter's had their own collection uh, you can look at art sort things um from uh, most expensive to cheapest, which is what I typically do. I found some really cool hidden gems in there uh, That are relatively cheap and just in time in like the month that I've like been actively collecting NFTs uh, Some of those things actually like accrued some value. So uh, there's some really cool things that you can potentially find in Rarible um, And some of these other platforms if you like collecting art honestly in my opinion like 99 Okay, like 95 to 99% of the NFTs won't really do much, but there's some really cool applications for that one to 5% of the NFTs that would like literally blow everything away and um, make people really appreciative of like what NFTs bring to the table. So pretty cool things, uh, some stuff that's not safe for work and uh, just really mind bending things, right? So uh, there's also like super rare. This is like more upscale compared to like rare or OpenSea, um, and a little bit out of my price range. So you could have pieces on here that range from like half an ETH to an ETH, four ETH, five ETH, ten ETH. Um, but they're they're really cool, and like all of these artists that put their artworks up there uh, to display. Um, put a lot of time and effort and energy into 
creating these digital pieces of art. So, um, it really unlocks a lot of creativity, digital creativity, that um, anybody can really see on the internet. Like, I don't have to go to a museum to look at these pieces of art. I can just go on the internet and look at these, which are really cool. And maybe in the future, um, people are just going to display these digital pieces of art in their home as they like entertain people, which is what I would prob probably do. Um, yeah, so you got Super Rare, you got Nifty Gateway, shout out to the Winkle Voss brothers. Um, so they have like this uh, pretty cool platform where you can buy some NFTs as well. Um, I haven't used Nifty Gateway, but I'm just putting it out here just so uh, you can know some of the platforms that are on here. Um, pretty cool things that people are doing and putting on here. Uh, I would probably like scroll around Nifty Gateway after this video or in time just to you know get a get a feel of what's going on there's some really cool like collections out there and um, groups and communities that are being built in the nft space which are really cool um so if you really like art and this application of like um content creators actually owning their art and then you like owning a verified piece of that art uh then nfts are Thing. so yeah really cool and now let's look at my collection so this is my collection on OpenSea uh, I've just like been collecting NFTs uh, I got like the Greek gods here uh, just something about it got Satoshi Nakamoto Salvatore um, and some other really cool NFTs that I think were like aesthetically pleasing and some cheap ones because like I just wanted to buy in bulk and like actually participate in the NFT space. So there's some uh, really cool NFTs that I, I picked up. Um, and over time, like I really plan on collecting a lot more NFTs. So um, yeah, now that I've shown you my NFT collection, uh, make sure to drop your ERC721 address in the comments or figure out a way to uh, DM me on some of my, my social media platforms. That way I can uh, transfer some of my NFTs. Like, these are NFTs that I decided I wanted to buy and I wanted to own, so um, you would actually get a curated piece of my uh, art selection. So, yeah. All right. Once again, this is Tyrell. I hope this information was useful. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch me out. Catch you on the next one. Peace.